I'm going to be honest with you. Outside of the moving ropes, I couldn't really see anything that interesting to talk about. I went over the entire level with a fine tooth comb and what? It was the second and final forest level, which is great, but it's visually indistinguishable from vulture culture. And it's the first level to introduce the grey critter, which is the final of the five critter variants in the game. And that's something only I care about anyway. But then I saw something, something super obvious that this level could be trying to tell us. And I'm going to make you wait until the end of the video to find out what it is. This is episode 15 of Overthinking Donkey Kong Country. Don't worry, it's not exactly a long video. Before we get stuck into it, I want to give you a clue and see if you can figure out what the answer is before the reveal. Here it is. This level has a few firsts. The moving ropes, the great critter. But what's one thing this level has more than any other? Okay, onto the gameplay. The central mechanic in this level is the moving ropes. Simple enough. You jump on and it carries you across the level. You climb up and down to avoid oncoming hazards or collect bananas or whatever. It's simple, it's fun, it's a variation on mechanics the player is already familiar with. Similar to how the previous two levels were continuations of Barrel Cannon Canyon, Forest Frenzy feels like an extension of Ropey Rampage. The mechanics introduced in that level are used here in a more advanced way. The Great Critter introduced in this level is also arguably the hardest of the five. It moves towards you while jumping at intervals. It's not much, but it's a bit harder to time your attacks with this one, as opposed to the others. Well, I really hoped I had more to say. <laughs> well, I really hoped I'd have more to say about this level, but I don't. Theory time. What this level has more than any other are zingers. Just a ton of them. Well, 35, which admittedly isn't a ton, but it's a lot. Way more than any other level. You might be thinking, what's that got to do with anything? What's so interesting about that? Why are you spending so much of your short life analyzing Donkey Kong? Well, let me tell you. What the presence of so many zingers tells me is Forest Frenzy is, or more accurately is very near, their hive. What's so interesting about that? Well, maybe something, most likely the Kremlings, has gotten the hive all stirred up. And it would go a long way to explaining why the boss of this world is the Queen Bee. Spoilers for anyone who hasn't finished the game yet. And why am I spending so much of my time analyzing Donkey Kong? Well, work's quiet at the moment and I need something to drown out the voices. That's it, Forest Frenzy's in the can. If I'm being completely honest, and I, I try to be, this level doesn't do much for me. It's fine, I mean, there isn't a bad level in this entire game. It's just that some are better than others. I'd be keen to know your thoughts. Not in general, your thoughts about Forest Frenzy and the Zingers. You can keep the rest of your thoughts to yourselves. As always, I truly appreciate anyone who has made it this far. I know I say that a lot, but it is true. This is such a strange idea for a series, but it's been real cool seeing people enjoy it. Be good, and I will see you in the next one.